welcome to Pathfinder. Today is Friday, March 22nd. I'm your anchor, Riley Gerard. Here is today's news. There's now an incentive for students to meet their goals on the NWEA test. Pathfinder news reporter Annie Holbert tells us what the incentive is and why there is one. Every year in the fall, winter, and spring, students take the NWEA test. It's a test that shows how Pathfinder students compare to other students across the nation. If our scores are bad, it could have an impact on students, staff, and the school. That's why Lori Hallett created a incentive this year. In the winter, students were given candy if they met their growth goal. Now, in the spring, Hallett has something bigger planned. Bigger. I am thinking of um, doing a Kona truck. So again, it's just to get your guys' buy-in to make you want to do well too, because I know all these incentives work well with middle schoolers. In the end, how it and your teachers just want you to grow and do well on the test. The spring NWEA test starts on April 10th. For Pathfinder News, I'm Annie Holbert. Pathfinder students love to wear hats, even when they're not supposed to. That's why now there's a specific day once a month to show off your cap. Pathfinder News reporter Liam O'Neill tells us why it started and how it supports our school. When Mandy Morgan and Stephanie Johnson became part of Pathfinder's Parent Teacher Organization, or PTO, they noticed a huge problem. The budget account was empty. That's when Morgan and Johnson came up with a great idea to solve the problem, Hat Day. Now, instead of getting in trouble for wearing a hat, Students are donating to a good cause. All of the money raised pays for the fun events like the winter dance party and lunches for the teachers. It's something to look forward to. You know, some kids like wearing their hats. Like, it's a religious thing. They put it on every morning, but you can't at school. But those one days that you're allowed, it's like, okay, cool. It's my security blanket. <laughs> Morgan and Johnson hope that Hat Day will continue to support our school for generations to come. They want students to have fun while giving back to their school. For Pathfinder News, I'm Liam O'Neill. It's a time for socialization. The lunchroom is a great place to talk with friends and possibly play a game, all while eating your delicious meal. However, there are a few rules that Pathfinder students need to follow. Pathfinder News reporter Chrissy Parker spoke to the Pathfinder Hall Monitor about what these rules are and why they're important. With how many middle schoolers we have packed in the cafeteria, there needs to be rules. These rules include staying in your chairs, keeping your table clean, and bringing your student ID to lunch. When you leave, red or black lunch, push in your chairs. White lunch, stack your chair along the assigned wall. The rules of keeping other people safe is that everyone's remaining in their chair. If they're cleaning up after themselves, then no one's slipping on anything on the floor. As the weather gets warmer and students are allowed to eat outside, the rules remain the same. So clean up after yourself and be respectful to our planet. For Pathfinder News, I'm Chrissy Parker. Pathfinder students are saying Checkmate was a new club. It all started when Miss Sandula noticed that the sixth graders enjoyed challenging each other at lunch over a game of chess. That's why she decided that an after-school club would be a perfect addition to Pathfinder. The club has started to make its move, with more than 20 kids signed up. The club meets every Wednesday after school for an hour. Sean Grace, who facilitates the chess club, says that the game builds important lifelong skills for students. It's actually a game that I would consider very educational as far as what you learn. Um, there's lots of things, not just how to um, improvise, how to become better at something by putting in hard work, and then how to struggle at first. Um, everything it's not always easy for everybody, especially the chess. When you first learn, you're not going to be very good. So you're going to lose a lot of games before you learn. If you're interested in joining, pick up a permission slip in the office. For Pathfinder News, I'm Riley Gerard. We've seen Roxy around, but now there are way more than before. Now every school in Pinckney has a dog or has one coming to their school. Pathfinder News reporter Landon Allen barks in to tell us more about these new furry friends. Last year, Pathfinder and Navigator received Roxy and Willow through the Therapy Dog Project. This year, Pinckney has officially completed the project. Now, every school in the district has a furry friend. Jack is in training to be at the high school, Skipper is at Country Elementary, and Ruby is at Farley. Ruth Smart, who is in charge of the program, says these dogs have made a huge impact on not only the students, but the adults, too. 
uh, gives students um, a sense of security. Uh, they can read to the therapy dog. Um, it gives them a little bit of a confidence boost. Um, the dog is there uh, in their classroom to provide support. Um, I can tell you that uh, students who have had attendance issues, um, we've used the therapy dogs as a reward and it has helped uh, get these kids to school. Jack is still in training and is hoping to be at the high school by the end of the summer. Here at Pinkney, we are very lucky to have these amazing therapy dogs in our classrooms. For Pathfinder News, I'm Landon Allen. Spring has started, and you know what that means, track season. Pathfinder News reporter Matthew Frisbee tells us why you should join. Joining track is a great opportunity for all types of athletes to stay in shape. The sport helps you to sprint faster, jump higher, jump farther, and increase your endurance. It's also an excellent complimentary sport to your other sports. Mike Goodfellow is the coach for the Pathfinder track team. He says he's really excited for what this season will bring. You know, goals you know, for some, some, some individuals that I know who've, who've worked hard. Um, for the girls, one of the team goal I have is to beat Celine. I think we can do that or come close. For the boys, we didn't win any meets last year, so one of my goals is to win one or two meets this year. If you're still interested in signing up, go to the Pitney Pirates webpage and under the Spring Sports Register for middle school track and field. The season officially starts after spring break. For Pathfinder News, I'm Matthew Frisbee. We see them, we hear them, but what do they mean? Middle school slang is taking over Pathfinder. Pathfinder news reporter Alex Cosrood breaks down a few slang terms and how they are used. New developed slang terms such as Riz, Sigma, Alpha, and Mewing flood Pathfinder hallways and classrooms daily, leaving the teachers flabbergasted. So let's uncover their meanings and why students use them. The term Riz is described as good charm, for the older crowd, basically being good at flirting. Sigma is described as strong and alpha, while the term alpha is said to be someone who is a leader. Mewing is an action for being silent and keeping your jawline sharp. Pathfinder students say these terms help with their vocabulary by shortening their sentences. Um, it just makes it shorter so they don't have to explain, don't have to explain a lot, you know? Uh, it doesn't like, so you don't have to say like, a huge thing if you're getting sick and over your voice. Peyton says that although these words and phrases are fun, students should make sure that they are school appropriate. For Pathfinder News, I'm Alex Cosard. From parties, candy grams, to welcoming new students, there's a lot of events that happen at Pathfinder. But who's behind all of them? Pathfinder News reporter Mary Telford tells us about this class and how they plan these events. Choose to Lead, also known as CTL, is a class at Pathfinder that plans events, holds fundraisers, and guides new Pathfinder students while making the school a better place. Recently, they've been helping the fifth grade class come to our school so they feel more welcomed and prepared for next year. They are also in the works of planning a school event for the end of the year called Spring Fling. Christine Curvin teaches the class. She says a lot of hard work and planning goes into every event. Wait every time and let that group of kids plan for the population that we have at the school. Mm -hmm. And we do try to keep the thoughts in mind about prices of things so that mm -hmm. everybody feels like they can come yeah. and have a good time. Kirvin says the class comes with a lot of hard work, but is helpful to building strong character qualities like being kind and respectful leaders. For Pathfinder News, I'm Mary Telford. One of the CTL's events is happening today, the Spring Fling. There will be activities like face painting, dancing, crafts, and Roblox. Bring money for concessions and a few activities that require tickets. Tickets are 50 cents. They are also taking cans for the Gleaners Food Bank. Bring five canned goods to get a raffle ticket and you could win a basket full of prizes. April showers mean spring games delayed for hours. Pathfinder News reporter Easton Clausen spoke to the Pinckney Athletic Director about what the process is like to reschedule a game due to bad weather. A major characteristic of a spring sport is that they practice outdoors, which means practices and games can be canceled due to bad weather. Ryan Morlow is the athletic director at Pinckney and makes the final call if a sport is canceled for the day. He says it depends on the sport. For example, if there is rain, tennis can't be played 
due to the wet court. Whereas for baseball and other sports, games get canceled because of lightning and thunder. If the weather is bad and we need to cancel or postpone a game, I call the other school's AD, so whoever we're playing that day, and we find a couple dates that will work for them and us. If there's bad weather for a championship game, then they will reschedule it. But if it is just against a team that is not in our league, then then we don't have to reschedule it. For Pathfinder News, I'm Easton Clawson. And that's all we have for today. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic Friday and spring break.